Hey everybody, I'm making a quick video of what we went over during class this past Thursday. Um, specifically, um, understanding what subject guides can do for you in your research, figuring out who your subject librarian is, and conducting a meta search using research databases. So first things first, we're going to look at subject guides. So what we'll do is from the library homepage, library.gmu.edu, we'll click on the blue box that says subject guides. You'll see that they're organized by topic. So what you wanna do is pick the one that's closest to your uh, research topic. So let's use the famous uh, cat videos in popular culture. Um, I'm thinking that mine will probably be under communication, film, and media studies. So I'm going to select that. And there are a bunch of different options here. I'm going to go ahead and go with communication. And just to kind of point out, um, all of these subject guides have the same sort of look and feel to them. So no matter what your topic is, you'll be able to navigate um, through this left-hand menu bar, um, specifically uh, find articles for this particular class. And I'll show you that feature in just a minute. But what I do want to point out is um, that if I you know, wanted to make an appointment with the librarian in charge of communication, I would reach out to Trevor here. And there's a blue button that says I can email him. Um, so I could do that. Sometimes you'll see a schedule appointment um, button. So you could make an appointment that way. But either way, I do encourage you to reach out to your subject librarian. Um, he or she or they um, can help you in a variety of ways. Um, a lot of them have master's degrees in their respective areas in, in addition to a master's in library science. Um, and sometimes it's helpful to um, to bounce ideas off of, off of someone else besides me, but of course, I'm always willing to help. So let's shift focus again back to the Find Articles tab. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what's helpful about these subject guides is it will tell you, hey, here are the um, best databases to use for your particular topic. Um, and it might also include specific journals that you can use, but for the purposes of your research proposal, um, I suggest going straight to the subject databases. Um, you already have looked in Web of Science and ProQuest Central, and now might be the time for you to start getting into these specialized databases. And the reason for this is that the two you've looked at already, Web of Science and ProQuest Central, those are multidisciplinary databases. So they take a really wide approach to um, information indexing. And these databases, the ones that are more specialized, go uh, not quite as wide, but further deep. So the further you can move along in your research, the more specialized the tool you want to use will be. So let's um, think about this for a second. And um, let's go ahead and get into our first database. And if you're off campus, you'll be asked to Authenticate via your Mason email, username, and password. And here I am, the database communication and mass media complete. And if you think back to uh, your prior assignments where you're asked to consider stakeholders, um, you know, think about when we worked on our keywords, used our grids to kind of map out um, perspectives and stakeholders. Um, we can see how sometimes you'll have a topic that's multidisciplinary in nature. So you might not want to just choose one subject area, but you might want to choose, you know, two or three. So thinking about the context of our research question is, which is how cat videos shaped popular culture um, in the United States. I might want to kind of move beyond communication and mass, mass media. I still want to search it, um, but in order to save time, you can grab all those perspectives at once by doing this. Clicking on this blue text that says choose databases. And so 
you get a pop-up box and this is a list of everything we subscribe to um, under the EBSCOhost platform. So this is this sort of green and blue look that you see here. Um, so just kind of looking at it, I'm going to um, pick perhaps psychology area. And also I might be interested in, um, might be interested in business. Remember, um, social media is a business. And there might be a couple of others, but this is just an example. Now I have three databases selected. And if you're unsure of what's included in a particular database, um, computer and applied sciences, something I might want, but I can always check by clicking on that arrow key. It'll tell me what's included in that particular database. So now I have four it's completely different perspectives. Um, hopefully I can find information related to my particular topic. So I'm going to click OK. And now you can see by clicking on show all that I'm searching in four different databases so I can get um, a deep result set, but from a variety of perspectives. Here you would just enter your keywords as, ne as necessary. Um, click on that limit for scholarly peer reviewed articles. And then also remember to limit your dates um, as appropriate. Now we're looking at the ProQuest platform. And, um, you know, we talked a lot about the tools being very similar on these databases. You just have to know where to look for them. So in EBSCOhost, um, the platform we were just looking at pre previously, you could um, find the Choose databases up at the top of the screen. Um, but here in ProQuest, you actually want to choose, in order to make a meta search, choose Change Databases. And that'll shift you to another page where you can either look at them alphabetically, which I don't find particularly useful. Rather, I like to view by subject. And so that'll tell me, okay, you know, which, which um, disciplines do I want to dive into? Uh, right now, I'm just in ProQuest Central, which is multidisciplinary. Um, I might want to grab some of the some of the business databases, so I'm just going to click on on that one, um, and so on and so forth. You know, just pick and choose what you want. You can also um, select specific ones rather than the entire subject area, and then you'll choose use selected databases. And it's telling me right now you are searching 15 databases. And again, carry on your search as normal. Enter your keyword terms, select the peer reviewed limit, and then you're ready to go. So that's how you uh, find your subject librarian, find the subject guides, look at the subject guides for key databases, and then finally create a meta search on the EBSCOhost and ProQuest platform. Hope this was helpful. Um, I'm going to make another video in just a second uh, covering citation mining. Good luck with your research.